Hi there, I'm Alex Cunningham, and I'll walk you through this Notion tutorial step by step. Let's jump right in. Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a mind map in Notion. Mind maps are a fantastic way to organize your thoughts, brainstorm new ideas, or keep track of complex projects. By the end of this video, you'll know how to seamlessly craft and embed a mind map into your Notion workspace, making your notes more visual and actionable than ever. So let's dive straight in. The first thing you want to do is head over to mindmap.so. This is a third-party tool designed specifically for making mind maps. Imagine it as a digital canvas for your ideas. When you get there, you'll see options to connect with different apps. And we're going to link it to Notion, connecting mind map. So to Notion is important because it's what lets you pull your pages directly into the mind mapping tool, so you won't have to manually copy everything over. If this is your first time using mind map, so, don't worry, it's pretty straightforward. You might need to authorize the connection. Just follow the prompts and grant permission. It only takes a minute. Once you're connected, you'll see a list of your Notion pages displayed inside Mind Map. So, now, take a moment to decide which pages you want to include in your Mind Map. For example, if you're planning a new project and want to capture tasks, deadlines, and ideas, select those related pages. This step is like gathering all the pieces of clay before you start sculpting. It makes the mapping process smoother later. Just click to select any pages you want. And if you're unsure, you can always add or remove them later. No pressure. Next, it's time to actually create your mind map. For demonstration purposes, I'll just pop in some random topics here. But when you do it, you'll replace those with your own ideas, project elements, or themes, whatever you're working on, in the mind map. So editor, you'll see branches radiating out from the center. Feel free to customize, drag, or reorganize your topics until the structure makes sense for you. The cool thing about mind maps is that they're supposed to evolve. So don't stress about making it perfect on the first try. If something doesn't look quite right, just move it around. This flexibility helps save you time and energy compared to traditional note-taking. Let's say you're happy with how your mind map looks. The next step is to share it so you can embed it back into Notion at the top or side of mind map. So there'll be a share button. Click this and you'll be given a link to your mind map. Take a moment and double check that the map shows everything you want. If you spot any typos or missing sections, just pop back in and edit. You can always regenerate the link afterwards. Once everything looks good, go ahead and copy the link. Now, switch back to Notion. Open the workspace or page where you want your mind map to live. Paste the link anywhere you like, and then click Embed. Notion will do its thing. And in just a few seconds, your interactive mind map will appear right inside your Notion dashboard. You'll be able to continue adding words, connecting new branches, and building on your ideas from right there. It's really helpful for team brainstorming, detailed note-taking, or just visualizing your next big thing. And there you have it, a quick, effective way to create and embed mind maps in Notion. I hope this walkthrough makes it easier for you to organize your thoughts and work smarter. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button. And if you have any questions or want to share how you use mind maps, drop a comment below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more Notion tips and tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and happy mind mapping.